Trevor Noah and Samantha B. addressed the acquittal of the police officer who shot Ed Philando Castile and the GOP health care bill. Late night hosts on Wednesday addressed the health care bill being crafted behind closed doors by a group of Senate Republicans and the exoneration of the police officer who shot and killed Philando Castile at a routine traffic stop. Seth Meyers began, Senate Republicans have been engaged in one of the most shameless, breathtakingly cynical exercises in political history, writing a health care bill behind closed doors and not telling anyone what s in it. You might remember that last month, after narrowly passing their health care bill in the House, Republicans held a giddy celebration in the White House Rose Garden with President Trump who was so happy to finally get a bill passed, no matter how unpopular, that he could hardly contain himself. But since that ceremony, you've probably heard suspiciously little about the GOP health care plan, and apparently, that s by design. Myers went on to surmise that there is a reason Senate Republicans have formed the bill in secret, with neither Republican nor Democratic operatives in the know. If you were curious why the Senate would go to such extraordinary lengths to keep their bill hidden from public view, it is because the bill they were working on is massively unpopular, and both Democrats and Republicans agree, Myers said. Remember, the bill is basically just a giant tax cut for the rich, paid for by taking health insurance away from millions of people. The House bill cut Medicaid spending by $880 billion to give the wealthiest people a near trillion dollar tax cut. The plan is so toxic just 8% of Americans think the Senate should pass the health care bill as is. Even the mummy got a 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. This bill is half as good as the mummy. In fact, the mummy might be the health care bill. Samantha B. on TBS joked that Republicans are hard at work on their super double secret written in Invisible Ink health care bill. She went on to congratulate Karen Handel, who defeated John Ossoff to win the House seat in Georgia's 6th district. The Georgia 6th is a longtime Republican seat once held by Newt Gingrich which would explain the thin film of slime still stuck to the seat, but it was a covered it seat nonetheless. Congratulations to Georgia's Karen Handel for winning the House seat vacated by Tom Price, who joined Trump as cabinet as Secretary of Health and Human Services, and then immediately got to work studying the health effects of smoke being blown up Donald Trump s ass. B then moved on to discussing Castile and the recent Bill Cosby hearings, in criminal justice news. Juries aren't sure whether serial rape is a crime, but made it clear that being a black motorist is still a capital offense, referring to the acquittal of the police officer who shot Ed Philando Castile in Minnesota last summer. Trevor Noah of Comedy Central dedicated his opening to the subject, giving an impassioned monologue on the pattern of police killings of black men in the wake of the dashcam footage, released on Wednesday, from the incident. Yesterday on the show, we spoke about the killing of Philando Castile and the verdict that exonerated the police officer who shot him, Noah began. And honestly, I thought that I felt all I could feel about this story until I got home and watched a newly released video. He continued, when I watched this video, it broke me. You see, 